Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm showing you a case of CO2 injection well in pipe sim. Okay. And by the way, I have a video about it, about CO2 injection well in pipe sim. So you can check. Uh, by the way, in this, in this video, I will not show you how to perform well construction and then the nodal analysis of CO2 injection well, no. But I'm going to show you how to extract a pressure and CO2 density from this software. Okay, wh why it is important? Because in many software, in many reservoir simulation software, we get the profile of flow rate in volume. Like, for example, in field unit, we get the forecast, the calculation in MMSCF per day million standard cubic feet per day. And it is not familiar for us to express the flow rate in mass, right? In mass flow rate. But in the case of CCUS, in the case of CO2 injection, we need to express the CO2 rate in actually in mass per, per time. For example, ton per day or kilogram per day, not in volume volumetric rate like MMSCF per day or meter cube per day, no. So to relate or to bridge between the volumetric rate to mass rate, we need, we need what? We need density, okay? And density is a function of pressure and it's quite difficult to get the correlation between density, density of CO2 and pressure. Maybe you have the correlation, but so far I don't have the correlation. Maybe I need to check the literature and maybe I need to check, for example, some spreadsheet function out there. But right now I don't have such correlation like that. But in my mind, I know I can generate pressure and density profile from pipe sim. Okay, so I want to generate that so that I can plot I can get a correlation between pressure and density, okay? How pressure influences the CO2 density, okay? But before that, I'm going to show you the phase envelope. Here we go to fleet manager. In CCUS, we need to perform it in compositional modeling. So I go to compositional. I'm going to show you the component. So. We go to component. Here you can see I select methane. And of course I select carbon dioxide. Okay. And then I will close fleet manager. Oh, sorry, phase envelope. Okay. So the phase envelope is like this. By the way, if I close, and then I go to completion, click this one, and then go to fleet model. You see the name CO2 mixture. I click edit. Okay, and then editing fluid. Okay, here you can see methane zero and carbon dioxide is 100%. Okay, so now I will involve pure CO2 in my injection. And this is the phase envelope of the pure CO2. Okay, and you can get also the phase properties here, the molecular weight, the density, and then enthalpy in molar, entropy in molar, and so on and so forth. Okay, this is from edit fluid. We can also go to phase envelope. Phase envelope being generated, okay. The same phase envelope of pure CO2. Currently, the reservoir condition is, is here, the pressure and the temperature. Okay. This is the plot. You can also get the table here. So critical point, critical point, the temperature and pressure, the dew line, pressure and temperature, 
and also the bubble line, temperature and pressure, the flash point. Okay. So from here, from face envelope, I go to the well again. Okay, and then let's go to, oh, by the way, it's important if we check here. Go back to plot. Okay, so this is the critical point. Okay, if we check the critical point is at 1,004. 46 or 47 this is the temperature okay so if i exceed this pressure i will go to a dense phase condition create super critical or a liquid phase okay so that's very important so the density will be liquid density or dense phase density super critical liquid super critical fluid it's like fluid actually so the density will be quite heavy it's it will be smaller lower the, the, the density is smaller than water but it's still high it's like liquid okay and the temperature is here so go back to well and then to get the profile of density as a function of pressure we can go to pt profile okay pt profile or pressure and temperature profile and let's say i only want to use one pressure and let's say we want to inject at supercritical condition so it's 100 1050 psia okay click run so it's it's a trick actually to get density as a function of pressure i should get that from correlation but of course there will be numerous correlations in the literature and i don't know what to select i don't know what to choose so i prefer getting the the profile of density as a function of pressure from from simulation or from software okay so i will maximize this one so let's see so we start with this is the temperature by the way we start with pressure, okay, and then, yeah, this is the profile. Okay, if we go back, 1050, so by the way, it's very important if we check the the surface equipment oh it's the condition is like this okay source riser and then well down to the the well so pt profile so we need to clarify what is the 800 and what is the 100 1050 so let's check the plot Again, I change it to pressure. Go to table. Okay, so 1050 at 80 elevation. So actually 1050 is the injection pressure. Okay, 1050 is injection pressure. Sorry, I should show the plot. Okay, so by inputting 1050, it's injection pressure at the surface. Go back to pressure. Okay, the, the table starting from 1050, the injection pressure, and then we inject across the tubing down the tubing and this is the reservoir pressure okay this is the reservoir depth 
and this is the final injection bottom hole pressure 1972 okay if i minimize and then we check the completion oh the reservoir is at 12,688 and let's check the deviation or the tubular. Okay, so 11,800 11, is the last step of the tubing. Okay, so it's, it's well, it's just above the end of tubing. And this is the pressure profile. And we expect that at this profile along the tubing along the wellbore the co2 will be in in supercritical or liquid phase okay so from here we can go to plot show plot this one okay so the easiest thing is to plot for example this is the elevation Okay, the elevation in left y-axis. We can actually plot, for example, this is the pressure. I want to change the elevation to density. Or maybe change the, we are showing the pressure. So select right y-axis i prefer using the right y-axis and let's check the density this one flowing liquid density all right okay so now we have flowing liquid density and we have elevation and we have pressure if we neglect the elevation, we can get the profile of flowing liquid density as a function of pressure, right? If I go to elevation, I change it to none, like this, then I get the profile of flowing liquid density as a function of pressure, right? It's very easy, right? flowing liquid density as a function of pressure. So I can get the table, okay, and then I can copy this table. So later on, I can use this function, I can use this correlation. If I get flowing bottom hole pressure of some certain pressure, okay, and then I can, of course, I can get the density. Using the density, I can, multiply the volumetric rate to be mass rate okay i can multiply the volumetric rate to the mass rate by the way here you see the flow rate is now in pound per second not in volumetric rate it's actually mass rate but in in pound per second i can of course change it to ton per day right it's easy to convert the unit. But by the way, again, you can get the profile of pressure against liquid density or liquid density as a function of pressure by doing this exercise. This is actually a trick. If you don't know the correlation between density and pressure, you can construct your pipes in model. Make sure you use compositional model, compositional PVT. You set up all the requirement, you set up the well and others, the PVT, and then you use that CO2 component. You can use pure CO2 component. You check the phase envelope generated. You can just use this PT profile and then change the parameters to be density and the pressure. And then you get the plot. You also get the table. You copy the table and then you, you make your own correlation correlating the density with the pressure, okay? So you can get pressure, flowing bottom hole 
pressure from your simulator. You get the pressure, okay? And then you get also the density and you can use the density to multiply the volumetric rate in your simulation to be mass rate, for example, in ton per day. So I think that's all. I hope this trick is useful for you. Maybe it's quite difficult to find some correlation, correlating density and pressure. So you can do the trick and I hope it's useful. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next Pipe Sim and CCUS video. Thank you.